Hello, in this episode 11 of our series ETS for Beginners, we will explore in the search for in ETS. That's configurable, we use offer a dynamic way to sift through your project data. Let's get started. This configurable views offer a dynamic way to sift through your project data. As you can see on the screen, we have our ETS project open, and on the top level, you'll find the search folders. Now, depending on the selected parallel, ETS provides default search folders that cannot be deleted and edited. You'll notice in front of every search folders, there's a number indicating the quantity of contained results. Let's dive into a practical example. Here we have search folder that filters building. If I click on it, you can see the number of buildings in this project. Now let's take a closer look at cabinet. If I open the cabinets search folder, you can see a detailed view of all the cabinets in the project. It's a handy feature to keep things organized and accessible. The beauty of search folders is that they are no project specific. They are stored in a user specific configuration file on the computer. This means that each logged in computer user has a all set of search folders, enhancing the personalization and efficiency of your workflow. You can create as many search folders as you need. Whether it's for buildings, cabinet, or any other parameter, the process is straightforward. Additionally, you can create buildings and cabinets on the fly. Watch this, I'm adding a new building. As you can see, the number in the search folder updates instantly. Similarly, if I add a new cabinet, the count adjusts accordingly. And there you have it. Search folders in ETS provide a powerful way to organize, filter and manage your project data with easy. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future episodes.